You think it's responsible for Microsoft to add their ticker to the Windows taskbar? Why else does news media like to broadcast dumb retail traders? Look, the sky is falling, sell. I mean, the shorts might hope people will, but people aren't very incentivized right now. No, I have a long entry target for Docu. I bought shares. It wasn't that long ago. I definitely wrote about it, right? Yeah, I think I did. Ding, ding. Well, if we don't look at the beginning of today, everyone can just stay really bullish, right? We'll just look at this part. Woo! GME! Yeah! Boaz, baby! <laughs> Do you even have C14? It could. Yeah, that's possible. So SPX still pretty range bound. Uh, today dropping lower on shitty jobs data to the 3,800. Stuck between 3,800 and 3,830. Uh, still no significant long positioning and no leverage short positioning. So we'll probably stay here into tomorrow's jobs data which you know let's see if we climb into the pre-market into that um upstart mm, holding its own a little better today than than gamestop but you know both of them down quite a bit um fubo actually performing the best out of all of them i guess maybe some people really liked the investors meeting that they had yesterday the conference they did um but yeah, nothing really too exciting. Kind of a dull day due to the, the flatness in the indices. Uh, Dixie's moving up again, so we might start to get some more volatility in the market. And hopefully some of that volatility is to the upside. I think that helps our positions the most. Um, yeah, nothing else besides that. Jimmy's very cheap at 52-week lows currently. It's the super mega OPEX we're all waiting for. No, no, no. It was a it was a price move from fifteen eighty nine to sixteen fifty. But you see how fast the price can move up. Relax. You know we've we've been through this shit. You know I, I'm gonna say this tonight. We've been through this shit a lot together, right? For the last two fucking years, we've seen GME at its lows. We've been there at its highs. You know what's coming hard right so calm the fuck down you know if, if if you can't if it's if it's if you're financially destroyed uh and you capitulate all right i mean no one can stop you but it's a really dumb time to exit an investment when you bought it for so much more right you liked it at 35 and you don't like it at 15 it's ridiculous you say you have a cost basis that's too high and no opportunity to average it down now you have an opportunity to average it down and you want to bail think about these things Think first, put the emotion in the back seat and use your fucking brain. And that's it. That's I guess that's all I have to say about it, right? I know it's tough. Believe me, I'm I'm down a lot today too. I I feel it just as much with even more leverage. So I, I understand. It's it's tough, but just just you know I don't I don't want to say hodl because that fucks people, but just just think, right? Are, are you are you really gonna bail on something you've held for two years because you know it's at fifty two week lows during a bear market and an economic crisis? Has every last vestige of your hope for the future of GMA truly 
gone up in smoke. You know they're shorting, right? I didn't sell. You probably didn't sell. They got to get the shares from somewhere. And the shares they use are fake, right? And they have to cover them. We, we know these things to be true time and time and time again. You know, going into March, people felt the exact same way they feel right now. Going into May, people felt the same way they felt right now. After August, similar, right? You, you fuck, even after a Frank's Day in November when we dropped and we dropped and we kept dropping before January of this year. You know, it, it, people felt this way when they were buying it, you know, 180 and we dropped to 120 before the August run. You know, and then after the August run, until we started to move up into October, people felt this way before May OPEX in 2021. And imagine how people felt who bought at 350 in February when we dropped down to $34. You know, it's it, it, the hope was there, you know, but the positioning on GameStop hasn't changed. They do the same shit they did then, now. 3808.44, ZOM 130 next week. P.S. I love you and bag hold with the GME nerds don't sell. <laughs> Thanks, Loa. So that's it. That's that's all I gotta say. I mean, I I can't I can't manage your positions for you, but just just think before you act rashly. You know, when when everyone when everyone is scared and everyone is fearful. That's usually the best time to be greedy. Buffett isn't wrong on that. He's more advantage advantageously positioned to take take advantage of when everyone is afraid. But anyway, I'll see you guys bright and early. Well, not bright and early tomorrow, because remember, I'm not going to be here till slightly afternoon um but uh, you know I'll, I'll notify everyone on like twitter and the discord when i when i'm moving to start the stream so there won't be there won't be a daily dd tomorrow but uh i'm sure some of the quants can post like the greek data and stuff in the discord for you guys thank you all so much and i'll see you probably tomorrow maybe the afternoon have a good night guys